Hello everybody, Mr. Google here. Welcome back to my next video. Today I wanted to share something cool. It's software I use very often. In my case, we are talking about Razor Surround. I am currently using the Pro version and the Basic version. The Basic version is free and the Pro version is sometimes free. During holidays, weekends or special promotions, so keep an eye out on their Facebook from Razor or their Twitter or something like that and basically score it for free. I will quickly browse around and show you guys what's the difference between the Pro version and the non-Pro version. Basic surround, Razor surround is 7.1 surround sound and it's pre-configured with calibration for Razer product so if you have a Razer product you can select that and use it and it basically the most important thing is that it works with any stereo headset or headphone so if you got a headset from a different brand in my case I'm currently using the wireless turtle beach headset which is officially promoted to be only compatible for the PlayStation 3 I will make a video about that later on but we're not talking about that i'm also using a usb headset that's also usable for this and one with a basic audio jack so any headset or headphone you want to use for your pc it's pc only you can make it 7.1 surround well why do you want that well in some games like call of duty you want an immersive surround well why is this useful well it's much easier to hear where they are reloading you hear footsteps although in some games it's not that easy to hear them that's kind of more dependent on the game but it does give a more immersive surround experience i wouldn't recommend this for listening to music you might want to use it for movies just to test it out a little bit but once you basically have set it up it will list your surround over here in my case i have selected stereo headphones but if you have an official razor product you can select that so it will automatically select the best presets for a headset but we're not going to use a razor headset because i do not have one and to give you guys a quick example of how it will sound if you are listening without a surround headset right now it will be something like this If you were using headphones, stereo ones, you should have been able to hear the helicopter fly around you pretty good. Well, how does it work? Well, you can calibrate it to your liking. In my case, I calibrated it something like this. I will show you guys. First of all, you start off with your front. If you want to, you can switch it around a little bit. And in my case, the front makes the most sense. Then you can go to your other positions in my case it was more useful to select this little line over here a little bit more to your back because it's a little bit easier to hear people behind you with that so once you've set all of these up you selected all of the dimensional surround sound it will basically work it's very easy it's more or less self-explanatory it's not all too hard to use and if you use other razor software it will also list them down below over here but in your case you might only be using the razor surround and if you want to disable it that is no problem you can just click this button over here and it will disable your surround for those who want to know a little bit more about the pro version i will quickly show you guys i'm not really using it or adjusting them but it gives you stereo enhancement, it gives you bass boost. I should probably disable it because the headset already has its own bass boost. Sound normalization, voice clarity, presence level, volume level. And it gives you these equalizers. So if you want to, you can tune your sound to your liking. Is there too much bass? Well, go ahead and turn these down. In the mids, it's lacking a little bit in the mids. Go ahead and turn these down or turn them up whatever you want to do so that's basically it guys it's just a quick tip please let me know in the comments down below are you going to use this are you using a different program in my case i can personally recommend this it's very nice and it's very useful for games like call of duty or battlefield it really helps me to improve my game so as always guys thank you for watching and i will hopefully see you next time stay tuned to a follow-up episode on this video where 
I will show you guys where this software is also useful for. So thank you. Goodbye.